So I was listening to this doctor that was from Canada but moved here. And this was like, it was a video from like 11 years ago. And he was saying how um, their health care in Canada is the same as what North Korea has. That's what he said. He said, it's ra he said single payer is rationed health care. It's rationed health care. And that's why it's, he said it's perfect if you never have a problem. But the moment you have a problem, then it's a, it, 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 it's just a, a nightmare, okay? So, and that's what I've always heard from, you know, people that are from uh, Canada is that they come to America because he, this doctor was saying that his wife had to wait two years in Canada to have a bunion removed. By the time she had it removed here in America, it was, she had to have like so much work done to her foot that. She has so much metal that when she goes through the airport, it sets off the metal detectors. Um, so because of waiting so long. So, yeah, it's great as long as you don't get sick. And he, he, what he said was so disturbing, too. And again, this was 11 years ago. And he said, and now it's to the point. Well, two things he said. He said, one is that because the older people, if they live longer, the younger people resent them because they're. They're, um, you know, they're eating up the resources. So what? that's what socialism does. It divides, which is why all of the people that push diversity, equity, the DEI stuff are all socialists. They're just not right. Um, so the other thing he said is that because it's the government paying for your health care, they get to regulate it. So if somebody in a high up position needs an organ, needs one of your kidneys and you're a match, well, technically they see you because they're paying for your health care. They see you as belonging to them. And you look at every health care association in this country has been pushing this single payer shit. They could care. You know what I really resent about, about socialists? is they're the most uncaring people. They really are. They can call themselves progressive. It's all the same thing. They're very unempathetic, but they use certain things to rile people up and divide people. They're, they're really a, a, a cancer. I mean, I don't mean that like in a Hitler sense, like they should be removed. They're just twisted in their thinking. Um, because any little bit of research into any socialized medicine system should make you realize I do not ever want to live in a country with single payer. That there's a reason that the healthcare association, well, the nursing associations got on board with Kamala because they are socialist organizations, which means they're communist. That's what they really are. That's what they've really been driving home. That's why they have no problem lying. And see, I have no problem calling their asses out. And I don't care how many doctors in this country or nurses that have all their education um, that think that they're so much smarter than me. In the end, you will lose. You do. Because you guys bit off more than you can chew. You did. Because it's one thing that you, you, you know, you've controlled all these countries. You've so many countries under socialism and dictatorships. And it always leads to fascism and then leads to, you know, communism. So... It, America's been the one thing that has been pissing you guys off. The, uh, this um, guy was also saying that um, one time when he was giving a lecture about socialism and the dangers of socialism and communism um, is that uh, he had a professor in um, his audience say, I'm a communist and I will tell you that we will take America down. Well, let me tell you communists something over my dead body, will you? But see, I have, I have better, I have, I have better knowing on my side. I do. I actually, I have better power on my side than all you higher educated fools. I do. Because see, God, you, you, you're messing with the true almighty. Of course you wouldn't believe that because you, you worship your, your ideology. But uh, because this country was founded under the, the, the values of Jesus Christ, no matter how much you hate it, 
Like, think about how disgusting it is. I, I just wouldn't go to somebody's country and try to uproot their values. It's so rude. But then socialists are very, they're not, they're not caring people. They're phony caring people. Um, so it's just ridiculous to think that single payer, but that's what all these associations have done. So I'm just here to say that you're going to lose because America's been the lighthouse. See, God will let all of these countries go into communism because he, you know, it's what he does. I've talked about it many times. But there has to be a lighthouse because if communism runs the world, globalism, then what will happen is there will be nobody that can find their way to him. You can't because your communist system will take that avenue away. That is where the globalists fucked up. They did. And really, they're not intelligent people, okay? They're just assholes. <laughs> they are. They're just assholes. They just, they, they, they have a need to... You know, they can't, they're not even smart enough to realize what single payer would do, okay? Believe me, many of the people at the head of the nursing associations and unions, they absolutely know what it'll do. And they're total fools because they somehow probably think I'm going to get a pretty um, spot. I already have millions because I've been pushing the globalist agenda and basically just, they're criminals, really. They're just criminals. They'll do anything justifies what they're to get to their ends. They do not care. They're, 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 they're just, they're a hopeless group, really. So, um, but see, it doesn't matter. Like they've carried on in America, like the education matters so much. No, the, the, the more I look at that, the more I see, yeah, but your, your people aren't developed. You're not fully developed, many of you. You're not, I mean, like in, inward, you're not developed. You, you have all the, just like the Pharisees, really. I keep going back to the Pharisees. Because it's like, well, the outside of the cup is all nice. Like you went and you got all this education and you get to put all these little letters after your name, like 25 of them, like, okay. Um, and, and then you think, yeah, see, this makes me so expert and intelligent. So why would, why would I possibly know anything you don't? Well, I do because... Well, I know that God's not going to let you do it. You can believe that or not. But, I mean, it, the way it looks. I mean, and you'll, you'll never stop trying. Socialists, communists, they will back off if there's too much heat against them. But they'll always come back around. That's what I notice the healthcare systems do, too. Is they bring it in. They bring something in. And if there's a lot of, you know, resistance to it, then they'll back off. But they won't let it go. Believe me. Just socialists, communists won't let their agenda go because that's what they live for it's their god um they'll just come in a different direction you know like a few months down the line after you have forgotten about it yeah they're very manipulative um likely why they're so unempathetic and uncaring people anyway um so it's just amazing to me that all those people that have the letters after their name they don't see how that system will come for them too like just because the, your higher ups are telling you that Oh, no, we're going to give you a cushy gig if you can help us take down America. Yeah, they'll be throwing you to the wolves, too. Because those communists actually see how you were willing to sell your own country out. Yeah, they do. And so then they say, no, we'll just throw the socialists to the wolves. And that is what has happened in history over and over and over again with uh, when socialism ends up failing. And it always does. Um. I, I had no idea Canada was just a, almost like a North Korea. I mean, maybe their health care system is, but they don't have freedom of speech or anything. They didn't have a, Canada didn't have a constitution until like 86 or 89. But they really don't have any freedoms. So the, what you get, the price you pay if you want to have the government pay for your health care, well, then they consider that they own you. And if that government needs one of your body organs just so they can live a little bit longer well they're willing to sacrifice you or they expect you to give it over because they've been paying for you all along see what socialists do it's why they divide so much is they want to make you dependent on the government not independent and self-sufficient no they want you dependent on the government 
because they're the most uncaring.